Hello, hello and welcome to my channel. So today I've got an unboxing for you. Uh, it's a PR unboxing, which means I was sent the item for free to show on the channel. Uh, that's why we've got the little paid promotion thing up in the corner. Let me get them out of the way. So let's get inside. Right, that's a bit better and is inside its own box. Now, apologies if I do sound a little bit funny. I am having to stand up because it is still quite big. It's A3. So that's the box open. So we've got some goodies. And uh, let me come to those in a bit, because I did know they was coming. Uh, that's the cable, and that is because we have got ourselves, you can see it through the wrapper, an LED light pad. So let's get rid of this box as well, shall we? Wow, that was a lot of packaging. Right, so let's get these uh, polystyrene things off the corner. Okay, so this is an LED light pad from a company called Elise, and uh, they are the manufacturers, and this one is a bit different from their normal light pads, so do stick around to see what that's all about. So let's look at this, and uh, basically, this is, I want to say, part of me wants to say this would be a good beginner's kit, because it does come with all these extra goodies, but I can tell you, I use this type of storage myself, all the time and you can never have too much storage so you know even somebody who's got a lot of um, bits and pieces for their diamond painting then there's still plenty to offer in addition to the light pad but I'll just get that out now as you know I do use this kind of storage for my heaven and earth designs um, diamond painting uh, I, I do like these little pots so these are the clear ones the ones I have actually are different colors but this is exactly the same thing but clear and they do clip quite nice and shut, so they're all joined together. And we've got, what have we got? 28 in a set, and it's in its own little case. And onto this. So first of all, it does come in one of these uh, A5 wallets. So I know I don't personally use them that much, but I know lots of people do like to store their drills in one of these pouches, either before kitting up or if they've got excess drills that doesn't go into the storage, then they do put the spares in these little bags. So that's handy. I'm happy to have one of those. Right, okay, so let's look at the trays. So we've got three types of trays. We've got your regular green tray, millions of those. We've got a regular, well, actually it's not a regular, it, it's a tray with a spout. I shouldn't have thrown away that green one. So usually these little white trays are a little bit bigger than the green ones, but this isn't. This is like kind of the same size. Well, I mean, marginally bigger. So this is like a little baby tray, but with a spout. Okay, now I can get rid of that. And then we've got one of these square trays and it's got a slot here for where you can put your diamond painting pen. Uh, assuming you're using one of these type. Let's get this open. Because there's more goodies. I like that. It feels like Christmas. <laughs> right, so if you had a regular sized uh, diamond painting pen, then it can go in the side and you don't have to worry about it rolling away. So that's uh, one of those trays. And that is obviously a bit bigger. Look, I really shouldn't have got rid of that green one. So that's, that's how big it is in comparison. And that's my hand. So if you like trays that are slightly bigger, that one's a good one. It's a nice proper plastic one as well. Right, let's look at these other things. Let's look at the pens. Oh, so we've got some tweezers. Got some tweezers, but they're only those uh, little cheapy plastic ones. So I'm personally, I'm not much of a fan of those, but they're not, I, I think some people like to use them for special drills. So, you know, can never have too many tweezers. We have got one, two, three, four, five diamond painting pens uh, and we've got what looks like a what's this a three placer are these the same these are the same and they look like they're not tens I don't think maybe a nine and then these two are the same and I think they might be sevens so a three placer a nine placer and two seven placers right so we've got lots of baggies now these I can use and I do like these. Um, oh, frisky. So we have what looks like, okay, sort of a semi rough count there. It looks like there's about 20, so that's nice. And the bag it comes in, of course. I can't believe all these goodies that come with like the light pad, because they are use useful. Now we have obviously lots of wax. And you know what? Look at the color of that wax. That is solid. That is almost not see-through at all. Oh, labels. I like. Oh, I do like my sticky labels. Look, you can hardly see through this wax. This is good wax, theoretically. I mean, it's got all the properties of good wax, let's say, because it's red, it's solid. You know, usually the, the more see-through wax is, the, the worse it is. But that looks like good wax. 
So, and we've got two things of those, so 20 pieces of wax. We've got some sticky labels. I do love my sticky labels. Then these go with storage, so that's always really good. And then this is a straightener, which I don't actually have, so I'm actually really happy to uh, get my hands on one of these. Um, I've got small straighteners that you put on the end of your pen, but not, not one of these dedicated ones. But yeah, so that's going to be really handy. If you've never seen one of these straighteners, I mean, you can use them on rounds, but um, the, for me, I only tend to use straighteners on squares because I'm more worried about the positioning. But yeah, really good. Okay, so that's just the goodies. I <laughs> can't believe this. That's just the goodies. Here is the main, the main deal. This is why we've got it in the first place. So this is a light pad. But it's a light pad with a difference, if I can get into this. Right, so this is the cable, and we've got a USB cable, and this is what plugs into here. And in fact, there's a couple of differences about this light pad. So I was quite intrigued when um, I was contacted to, you know, if I was interested to see it, show it on the channel. And then obviously I looked it all up, and uh, this is a lot of goodies. So first of all, we have our instruction leaflet which just tells you what it is. So this is a tracking whiting board, so people use it for sketching. Um, I do have an adult colouring channel and I do occasionally use a light board for um, if I want to trace something. So yeah, this is quite good even, you know, for things other outside of diamond painting. I mean, this is primarily what I'm going to be using it for. But, so that's the instruction. Right, so this says remove the protective film from the front before use. So we're going to do that. Okay, so that's that, and it is a bit staticky, just where I've taken off the uh, plastic cover. But you know what? I thought it would once I took the cover off, it would be shiny. Because I do have another light pad from Elise over on my colouring channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description below if you want to see like the A4 normal size Elise. But um, this one is like a matte effect. It's almost like a table. Now, what's nice about this is this is a battery. It's got battery included, so this is a bit thicker than the normal light pad for a couple of reasons. But with a battery in it, I believe when I looked it up, it has six hours of battery life, which means you don't have to you don't have to diamond paint with it plugged in. You can sit with it on your lap or whatever. Because look what else this has. Now let me see if I can get this open before. <laughs> right, this is okay. Okay. So so that does feel a little teensy little bit flimsy, but look, can you see what that is? And that, my friends, is, it has an easel built into it. Let's put it on a lower setting. Right, that is propped up on one of them. Um, I'm going to lay it flat because obviously you can see I have trouble fitting it in the camera. Also, it does feel, I don't want to say flimsy, but I, I, I feel like it should lock into place and I haven't quite figured that bit out. So, yeah, but it's got, look, it's got these little um, foot pads on it as well, just so that it doesn't slip around your, your tabletop. So that's it flat. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to charge this up for a little bit so we can see it in action. I've got it upside down. Because this dimmer as well is also special. So let me just do that. Right then, I've just got it plugged into one of these, um, you know, portable battery chargers because I decided I couldn't be bothered to wait for it to charge up. Also, while I was doing that, I did have a moment of realisation. Uh, do you remember when I turned over that board and I said it was upside down? Of course, so that's why it was so high up. So I have got it propped up and this is the lowest setting, which looks to be about, I don't know, 30 to 40 degrees. So yeah, at the moment I have got it propped up, it can go higher. Uh, but this is the, the lower setting. Right, so let's get this switched on, shall we? And there we go. Uh, so that is on the white light setting. But get this, if you press the uh, on off button again, I don't know how well it's showing up. And uh, But this is like a sort of kind of an orange glow. So it's like that warm light. So if the LED lights of, and, and that seems to be an in-between. So that's like white light, LED. And that's like a really or almost tangerine-y. And then there's like this in-between that's, uh, you know. So if the bright LED lights do hurt your eyes a little bit sometimes, then you do have three settings, and that's obviously, obviously off. So I'll go back on white. And here's the other thing that I want to show you. Because this button, now you do obviously have different shades, which probably isn't showing too well because the camera adjusts to the change in light. But there's one, two, three, four, five, five different settings. Well, six if you include off. But also, if you do this, 
if you just hold your finger on it fades up it doesn't do distinct steps it just fades up and also you can hold it down again and it fades down so you have a lot of control over this and remember this can all be done from the battery so let's get a diamond painting on it so this is my painting for Drills and Chills 2021. I do have an unboxing and a kitting up video for this if you're interested. But uh, this is the one I'm working on at the moment. So let's just switch it on again. So that's at the lowest and also at white light. So let's just... So now I think you can see the different levels of light changing. But that's the orange. So that's the... The hard orange, if you know what I mean, <laughs> for want of a better word. So that's the different lights. And then the next one is like the in-between. It's not white light. It's an in-between one. And I think this is the one actually I prefer. At least for during the daytime. And I don't know if you can see. So this is a 40 by 55. Obviously, it's got some drills on, but not a whole lot. But... It's a 40 by 55 and it's got drills on and this magnetic clip is all that's holding it. I've got nothing propping up the bottom of the painting, it's just hanging off the table and it can take the weight. Because look, if I take it away, it just it will just fall. So that is literally all I'm using like that. The magnet is good and strong. So I think really that's all I've got to show you. I have to say, I'm quite impressed. I do like this easel. Uh, let's just see if I can turn... Actually, let's get this painting off. Let's turn this off. Let's get the painting off. So yeah, just a reminder, it does have this easel on the background, uh, on the back. And to me, that's, a, that's, like, that's the good bit. Because, I don't know about you, but I have a tabletop easel to, when I diamond paint. And then I, when I use a light pad, I put the light pad on top of the easel. And this is an all-in-one. So uh, this is really cool. And I really like that it's matte, so there's no glare. It's not that um, acrylic, see-through acrylic on it. It's like a matte surface. Yeah, impressed. Kind of really impressed. Now, obviously, I will leave links below in the description to where you can purchase this light pad on Amazon. But yeah, as first impressions go, really positive. I'm quite looking forward to using this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a great day. Take care and see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.